in the end, if you aren't sleeping well, that's a really, really big deal for the whole system. Would melatonin, in your opinion, or for any research that you've seen, be safe for children? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Okay, I mean, yeah. Compared to the alternatives, everything is a cost-benefit analysis. You know, I know people don't like this because it's much easier just to think in terms of good and bad. But like I, I've admitted, I think recently in the episode, like sleep is the one thing that I am still struggling with right now. And so if melatonin actually works for me, it doesn't. But if it did, I would absolutely take it despite it, you know, maybe suppressing testosterone or whatever, but it just doesn't. But if it works, like the importance of sleep is so important that if it works for you, you know, Again, I'm not even worried about suppression. But there's a few different things you could say as to why adding more melatonin is not a good idea. But in the end, if you aren't sleeping well, that's a really, really big deal for the whole system. I'm saying if, you know, occasionally, if they're upset by something, if you've traveled, you know, like, I think melatonin is safer than, you know, many of the other alternatives that would often be employed. And also safer than the stress to the organism of not sleeping.